Things that will burn in hell, number 100, blogs and vlogs. From Loitering in Wonderland Studios. <laughs> Phoenix West. Hello, citizens. I'm Phoenix West. Welcome to the last episode of the original 100 Things That Will Burn Hell book. I can't fucking believe it. This project's been going on for a very long time. It's finally culminating here with episode 100. Uh, it's going to be done. The first 100 is done. And then the next book's going to come out. And it might be a big gap between the first 100 and the second 100. I don't know yet. I kind of want some time off from this show because it's been consuming my life for, I don't know, a year and a half. I'll look at the exact date here before, before we head, after we get back from the book. But let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and get to the book there. Uh, we'll come back. I'll have a new t-shirt on. Things that will burn in hell. Number 100. Blogs and vlogs. Does anyone give a shit what some stupid asshole on the internet thinks? I wish, but nobody does. After 100 things that will burn in hell, nobody gives a shit what I have to say. I can deal with that fact. I do these for fun. But there are actually people out there that believe that other people should read their blogs and have a life-changing epiphany afterward. As if some kid from the outskirts of Chicago who dyes his hair black and has gauge earrings has anything to say of value. Oh, it's so hard being from an upper-middle-class family that will pay for your college, which you won't attend. Life is so hard being above average financially. Let me give you a hint, lonely teenager. You're 15. You don't know shit yet about life or anything for that matter. Everyone really wants to know who you gave a blowjob to at the football game last Friday. That's so fucking important to the world. It really updates the American status in the eyes of the world. I'm sure Iran will stop producing nukes if they find out you gave Tommy Thomason a Hummer in the backseat of his Corsica. What's that? You're angry with the world because Tommy cheated on you? Wow, who would have thought teenage boys aren't always the best decision makers and don't always think about the feelings of others first. So you posted a blog that says, life is shit, I should end it. Well, do it then, pussy. Quit flirting with the idea and do it already. Oh, you weren't serious about it and just wanted attention? Wow, how surprised am I? You know who gives the best attention? Angels. P.S. No, I don't feel bad for telling people to kill themselves if they threaten it. If they do it because of this, then it was just a matter of time anyway. Survival of the fittest, bitches. Good riddance. May their blood flow like their emo tears. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in hell. I'm Phoenix West. P.P.S. Please don't really kill yourself. I, I, I don't really mean it. I, I, it's a joke. Please don't do it. Please don't do it because of me. That'd be awful. Keep me out of your suicide note if you do that. Find out. Oh, okay. Oh, that feels gross. It feels waxy. Why does it feel waxy? Ooh. Ooh. Barf. It feels waxy. Okay. Ooh. I don't know if I'm in frame because my monitor died, but we're doing episode 100. The most important episode without the monitor. And this is a shit show, I think. So welcome back from the book part. Oh, shut the fuck up, phone for sure. You shut the fuck up, sir. I don't want to hear from you. No? Okay, a couple, couple phones going off here. So welcome back from the book part. Uh, fuck it, leaving that in. This is a great way to end your fucking first run. Great. I'm Phoenix West. Uh, this isn't the intro. What am I doing? Oh, God, this is a shit show. Oh, Jesus Christ. So let's talk about blogs, and uh, the original title of this episode was just 100 blogs, and then I added vlogs on here because obviously I had to, because it makes more sense that way. I can make fun of myself more, because really I am saying I should burn in hell and nobody should fucking listen to me, because the opinions expressed here in this show are, are stupid, they're dog shit, and you shouldn't take them seriously, because why would you? Why would you at all? I'm just some asshole on the internet. And I guess I'll take this episode because uh, the book parts really said everything... I have to say about blogs and vlogs. They're fucking stupid. They're written by guys who have no idea what they're talking about. Women who have no idea what they're talking about. Children who have no idea what they're talking about. There are children on YouTube doing video blogs, opening toys and making putty and making goo and making fucking toy, like bullshit, making bullshit videos. Why is your toddler on YouTube? Keep your fucking children off there. It's weird. It's weird. There's pedophiles out there just like, yeah, play with that. Play with that goo that oh, could play with my goo people are doing that i'm tr trying to go in too much detail there because it gross myself out but there are men out there that are doing this because you're putting your children in videos where they're like in the yard in the sprinkler and you're like what do you think's gonna happen nothing good could come of that nothing good make a private youtube channel where you only show the link to certain people if you want your family to see how you're doing make your own website and show it there 
send it to them with their phone. You can do that now. You don't have to put it on YouTube for everybody to see because why would I want to see that shit? Fuck you. Stay off. So that's all I want to say for blogs and vlogs, I guess. Um, I agree. I also should stay off, but I'm really fucking stupid and I'm going to keep going because I have nothing else to do with my life. It's a waste. So I guess I'll talk about kind of a little bit of history. The shirt I'm wearing. The first book I wrote was called Full Circle. This is the symbol for it. Uh, first chapter of it is Scenes from a Wasted Life. Uh, I originally was going to have it into a... I wrote it like an album and I was going to make it into music. Turns out I don't know how to play an instrument at all and I can't sing. So I ended up making it the first chapter of a book of poetry. Uh, the backside is that. But I, I wrote it when I was I started film school and I started writing these poems. poems. Um, got really into Pink Floyd and started writing some poems. But then I... When I got to Michigan, I kept writing it and kept writing it. And I made, I got a job at Meyer in Lowell, Michigan, where I worked at a uh, photo printing lab. And I would print off photos and, you know, just actual film from like just, you know, cameras that, that existed back then. It was still a thing. And I found myself incredibly fucking bored because the job is so goddamn easy. But they had this thing where you could make your own t-shirts. So I made my own t-shirt with my symbol on it, printed off these postcards with all the lyrics on it. Lyrics meaning poems at this point because there was no music. And then I was basically lying to myself thinking it would be a band. Uh, I wrote in the book here, I imagine it as like Pink Floyd with the middle finger. Pink Floyd mixed with punk rock with my extended middle finger or something like that. But that didn't work out. I didn't, my heart wasn't in it. So, but I kept writing the books. And then my next book after this one, which is, this is 2007. Next book, which I was writing at the same time, kind of overlapped, um, with which was 100 Things Over in Hell which is why I'm wearing this shirt, because it was the very next book. Uh, so I started writing things over in hell. I, I, after I left Michigan, I went down to... Um, did I go to film school after that? My life is a fucking blur. No, this is after film school, obviously. <laughs> after film school, went to work at the photo lab. I uh, went from the photo lab down south to work at uh, after Katrina. So I was living like in New Orleans slash Gulfport slash Long Beach, Mississippi. Uh, New Orleans is obviously not in Mississippi. I'm saying there's. I went back and forth between the two. But I worked in this area and I fucking hated it and I fucking hated everybody. They're insanely racist. They're insanely homophobic. So I wrote, I started writing this book to make fun of them. So that's why I like the Lord of the Rings episode is about like this weird elf AIDS thing. It's to make fun of these fucking people because I really hate, have hatred for these sort of people. And I have a hatred for the Southerners that I encountered on every fucking daily basis who I couldn't understand. And I got really angry, started writing this book. That's why it's like so fucking angry sometimes. It's, it's, it was like how I felt in the moment, but I also knew it was a joke. Again, I keep saying it was like written as a character. It was like extended my anger on things that had nothing that you could be angry over, like paper cone cups is always my go-to, or Nextel phones bothered me, but why the fuck would I be angry about them? I just didn't own one, so it didn't really affect me. Just had to hear that demon growl out of it from time to time. But I started writing the book. I eventually, I moved again back to Michigan just to get the fuck away from the South. That's where that whole part of the book was, was like the, the South and then the Midwest, and it was one of them was like, I'm talking about the mechanic. That shit was real. I wanted to leave. My car kept breaking down. I was trying to leave. My car kept breaking down every time I tried to leave. So I kept having to bring it back to the same fucking mechanic because it was the only mechanic in miles. Because, again, this is a decimated area from Katrina. There's nobody around. One mechanic. How do they fucking keep going back to this guy? And I think I used his real name in the book. I think. I don't know. I don't care. I didn't use his last name. So good luck finding me, Jason, or whatever your name was in the book. But anyway, eventually left. Got to Michigan. Uh... Finished up the book in early 2008. This is when I got back after... And I got back in 2007, early 2007. Next year, 2007, 2008, I finished up the book, edited it, put all the pictures together, got it out, and put it online. People like it. It was a lot of like close friends were reading it. And anybody who shared it with that wasn't a close friend was like, yeah, it was, it was good. Not a lot of interest in it. I get it. I had no, no plans on publishing. And again, all these images I found were from YouTube, or actually from Yahoo Image Search. This is this was back when Yahoo was bigger than Google. Woo! That shit has swung the other way. That pendulum is not coming back around. So I know I couldn't publish it. I had no plans on it. It's not good enough to be published. I understand that. This is just a fuck around book. This is a fuck around project. Same as this video. Do you think I'm going to show this in theaters? Holy shit, that'd be terrible. I would not make someone suffer through that. That's why I make them 15 minutes at the longest, and that's only some of them. Um, but I guess I'm just kind of going with the history of this book. 
uh, came out. I made a hardcover version, which I don't have on me, which would have been a great, great thing to do for the last episode. Is it over here? Nope, not over there. Fuck it, it doesn't exist. Is it down there? Nope, fuck it, it doesn't exist. Okay, doesn't matter. I've, you've seen it a thousand times in the early episodes where I was literally reading from it. Eventually, I just went, I'm going to get all the reading parts out of the way. And I sat down in one day and read all the book parts and went insane. That's why a lot of the episodes end with me like, because I... I I try to go so fast and it gets mumbled. And if I have to read that quickly, it gets really hard. My mouth doesn't want to cooperate. When I improv like this, this quickly, I have no problem because I'm not reading words that are, I, I, I'm creating the words as they're coming. I'm laying down the track in front of me. I'm not going, what does that track say? And I'm trying to go quickly and read at the same time. It doesn't really work out so well. So I go insane and you'll see that numerous times. Uh, there's things in the recordings I didn't put out because it gets really angry and aggressive at myself. So I guess what I'm trying to say is thank you for making it this far along. If you have, if you gave up a while ago and you're just watching episode 100 for some reason, that's weird. That's weird behavior. You're a weird, weird person. You need help. This video is not going to help you probably. You're just going to get more aggressive and eventually kill some co-eds. You should probably uh, see someone professionally about that. So yes, the episodes are done. I mean, I... I have a large section of the next book finished. I still have to write the rest of it, obviously. I think I have like 40 some done. I got the rest of the 60 to do. I don't know if I'm gonna finish off the book before I start making the episodes. I think I think I would, just so I don't get ahead of myself. I can't believe I managed to do 100 episodes. And, and I don't know if you realize, but I started back in, I think it was October of 2017. So that's, right now I'm recording this, full disclosure is February 1st of 2019 and I have not missed a week since I decided to go weekly which is episode three three through a hundred I have not missed a week and I can't fucking believe that because the first two episodes I recorded as a podcast and I went I want to make a video show I don't want to make another one so that's why the first two episodes are stupid it's just me watching while the podcast is playing which is weird so if you made it past those past those first two episodes good job I appreciate it it got very different after that did it not but yes, I really do appreciate making sure my equipment start work, stop, didn't stop working. I can't speak because we're at the hour 15 mark. I've recorded all these episodes in a row right now in the session. Hour 15 for those. Yes, I do them back to back. And yes, in the next batch I will as well. Uh, but I guess uh, basically I appreciate you guys following along, watching every episode, listening to every episode. I didn't mention it in the videos very early on. I think I didn't do it until episode 98 that this is also a video show on YouTube. If you're listening to the audio podcast, which I do put out just in case it's easier for you, you're missing out on like 85% of the jokes because the jokes are all in the video on the pictures I show during the video. Uh, the commentary parts, you're not missing out too much uh, if you're just listening to the audio, just listening to the audio. I'm slurring way too quickly for some reason. But the the book reading parts, so you're missing out on half of it, I'd say. So overall, somehow that makes 80%. I don't get my math there. I think I need to fact check that. So I honestly, I have nothing else to say. I'm just going to stop wasting your time and just really say thank you. Thank you to the our Indie Sports Car Podcast subscriber on Patreon, patreon.com slash Lloyd Wonderland Studios, um, youtube.com slash Lloyd Wonderland, Wonderland at gmail.com, and LIW Studios. Go to that. That's where all the shows are available. You can you can read the book. You can see the book in its original format. You can you can see this book right here, Full Circle. So I have Full Circle, Things Over in Hell, Eye of the Storm, Fairy Tales from Hell, which is a sequel to Full Circle. Uh, and I have four more books in the writing. I think we all know about NyQuil and Cocaine, the face-off novelization. That's, uh, that's, that's still going on. That's still happening, believe it or not. Lawyers have not gotten through to me. Uh, I don't know what cease and desist even means. What does no mean? I have no idea. No idea. So until next time, which could be a very long time, for the next 100, I'm Phoenix West. So long, citizens. I'll see you in hell. Where I'll be down there like making videos and blogs, vlogs, which is a stupid fucking word. I haven't commented on that yet. Vlogs. Fuck you. I'll be doing uh, lots of commentary in hell, and I don't think anyone will be watching just like now, or reading just like now. So I guess this is my personal hell. I'm, I'm actually living it right now. Why is this shirt waxy? 
I made this shirt in what, 2006, late 2006, and I haven't worn it in like a decade, and it feels waxy. Like there's a, is it only over the, yeah, it's just on this part. This is just like a little fabric thing, and you just press iron it, and it, but it feels waxy. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to show myself the back of it so I can see it, because I don't know what's on there. So long, citizens. I'm Phoenix West. Burn in hell. See you next time, which might be a while for the next hundred. And you burn until then. And let me end it appropriately. Let me end this shit right. That's what I'm doing there, in case you weren't aware. And let me just say this. I made my Loitering in Wonderland shirt, and I bought the green one, not thinking that I couldn't do green screen episodes wearing this fucking shirt. So now it's useless. It's got my little awesome sayings on the back. Yep. Uh, so it's a useless shirt for half of my episodes, which I do a lot of green screen, obviously, because that's just what I do. And I can't wear this shirt, so I can't wear my studio shirt at all in the video. So why did I choose green? I don't know. You know what? Last episode of the run, we're closing set. We're doing a cheers ending here. Just keep it very sad. Hi, citizens. It's me. I'm back. The Minnesota Vikings just won the Super Bowl. I can't believe... Oh, it was the New England Patriots. I mean, technically the game's not over yet. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to get sued by the NFL, but there's a minute left. So today's uh, the 3rd of, of February. I figure... Oh, 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 should pause the episode. Oh, that was unprofessional shit. So, uh, yeah, that's me in the background there singing. So I just finished editing the very final episode of this show. So this is the last day. I'm I'm done with the project now. I can't believe it. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. I was trying to do the video and have it switch, but it didn't work. But here we are. Uh, so go thanks, guys, for watching and sharing and commenting and everything. Uh, weird. I'm not going to oversell this. This isn't that an amazing of a project. But I do, I do like this project. Be back for more. I'm going to take a long fucking break, though. And uh, just, you know, just uh, celebrate my Vikings Super Bowl victory. <laughs> oh, it's 13-3. to three. They're, they're going to win here. The fucking Patriots again. Yay, greatest sport in the world. But it's the last day. It's done editing. They're all done. And, and like, when I load this up, and then it'll be done. That's it. 100 episodes. Fucking crazy. 100 video episodes. Never missed a week. God, I'm amazing. <laughs> Uh, you finish up the episode now. So long, citizens. Whoops. And that's a hundred things will burn in. And that's one hundred things that will burn in hell. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Copyright 2008. 100 things that'll burn in hell. All rights reserved. Printed in the United States by Zellwerner Productions of Brooklyn Wing Publishing. All words written belong to Phoenix West. Images are not property of the writer. Most were found online using Yahoo Image Search. Some images are property of the author. Ask for permission to use. I did it. I finished them. I did 100 things that'll burn in hell. I did it. I'm amazing. I did that thing. So long, citizens.